What's up, beauties? <laughs> Welcome back to my channel. I'm Ebony. And I'm Brianna, if you are new here. Mm -hmm. So today we're gonna be just doing like a get ready with us, yes. creating these looks yes. for you guys. If, if you, you like, are, yeah, exactly. Don't watch. Keep watching <laughs> and make sure that you are subscribed, like and comment and oh, let's get to it. Yes, see you soon. This, oh, this magnet, I like that. This is the one that I um, bought because of you. I don't have that one. You used to have this one. Cause I only bought it because I used it when we went to <laughs> when I went to visit you. Okay. In college, I um, loved. I used to love the, the to shimmering it? colors. Is that one mine? No. <laughs> <laughs> so do you want to do like questions? What do you mean? Like questions? Like I ask you a question and you ask me mm -hmm. a question. Okay. While we're doing each other's makeup. Okay. Each other's? You want to do each other's? No. no, no, no. Oh. <laughs> no, like while we're doing makeup. Mm -hmm. Okay. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah, let's make it fun. Okay, yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's fine. What is the funniest name you have actually heard used in the real world? Okay, this is not a good question. Let me see. Let me see some of the questions. I don't like what this. What is the question. funniest name you actually heard used in the real world? Beckham. Beckham? Yeah. Beckham is like I don't know how I feel about it, honestly. I feel like I when I when I like hear it, then I'll be like, oh, that's an interesting word. Yeah, and then imagine it being someone's name. Yeah, that is weird. Oh, okay. I I was just gonna say something, but I can't say it because I actually know this person. Okay. <laughs> and they just named this. They just named their oh child. Oh my gosh. This. Oh no. I actually um this little <laughs> brush right here. I forgot it in my car. Okay, I don't need it. Okay. I think I have another one that you um, could probably use in the same way. Oh, wait. I think I might have another angle brush for my eyebrows. Alright, so I'm going to use my Too Faced Born This Way um, foundation in the color Mahogany. Mm -hmm. And I'm almost out, so I have to like. Maybe we should go to the mall. Ah, yes. But then I was like telling myself like I'm gonna start wearing more drugstore more drugstore products, products to save yeah. money. But That's I love idea. this foundation. Okay, and so of course you know I have to start my poreless Too Faced foundation. I'm just trying to see my. Oh. I literally could not live without this stuff. Oh, <laughs> so I can, I'm trying to get this yeah. out. <laughs> I honestly usually only do like one or two pumps of this, but since it's out, like I feel like I need to get as much out as I can. Oh yeah, you would have definitely beat me in like a makeup race. <laughs> <laughs> Suck this in for my humongous pores. Focus. Sometimes I prime, but like, I just feel like, I don't know, just, it depends on the day for me. Sometimes I just use like my regular moisturizer. Mm -hmm. If I don't prime, it's like not gonna be a pretty day for me, honestly. Can I use it or no? Yeah. Okay, thanks. It's kinda messy. Oh yeah, that's fine. Still, I like the messy way. Okay, cool. Oh my gosh. My what you don't have your brows done? No. Are you serious? I know it's in my car because that's the last place. I and we don't use the same color. You you use chocolate now, right? Yeah. What do you use? Ebony. That's extremely too dark for me. Um. Oh my god. I'm not going back out to that car. Okay, that's okay because we have to improvise. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you do. Ebony is like the darkest one, right? Yeah. I was using um the nat the I think it was the natural brown or something like that. Mm -hmm. I like how the chocolate looks though, but that's like a full color, like. You know. mm -hmm. I'm gonna try this cypress umber. If you had intro music, what song would it be and why? <laughs> I feel like Nicki Minaj. Yes. Oh my god. That's I knew it. Honestly, I 
I um a song came to mind, but it's so inappropriate. What I'm is not it? Sing it? What is it? Um pull on with ass too. <laughs> <laughs> so did you see Lala from Paris um Fashion Week? No, I didn't. I'm sorry. Okay. <laughs> what um, that would have been a great topic. What happened? She was just like slang like her outfits were like so cute they were going viral and of course she's famous so that's not hard to do but she like never dressed like she was giving me kim k vibes seriously slash beyonce vibes like just with her her style of dressing because you know lala she can put on like a plain tee and some jeans and she'll look amazing yeah but like now she was like dressed up in like a cute feminine like suit and it, it was so Aww. cute and then it had the fur across the shoulder like she was super cute what was this for this was for um paris fashion week hmm. yeah what's new with your love life um it's pretty much non-existent honestly <laughs> yeah love is like a non-existent for me but that's okay because i like settle with the fact that i'm probably gonna get like nine cats when I get like do you even 40. like cats no <laughs> but I'm gonna get them and that's gonna be my oh be my god seriously love is too hard nowadays like I look at like all these relationships on social media and it's like although those relationships look so cute they're not as cute as they seem and also I feel like just never like never look at somebody else and be like oh wow like everything's perfect like nothing yeah. Nothing is ever perfect. Yeah, it just makes social media makes that hard to do. Like I feel like I'm never a person to like want to be like someone else. But like if I see somebody driving a G wagon and I know I want a I'm G like, wagon, I'm like I want a G wagon. It's like dang, like why don't I have a G wagon right now? Like so social media makes it hard to compare. But of course, like not to compare yourself to other people. Yeah, I mean, I feel like you have to, that's why you have to, like, kind of set boundaries and be like, okay, like, like, know when it's not healthy anymore. Like, know when you need to get off your phone. Yeah. And, I'm like, know when you need to unfollow those people. Like, unfollow them. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> that's something I've been doing. I've been like, okay, I don't, this person is serving no purpose on my Instagram. It's up showing off everything I don't have. <laughs> <laughs> So, you know, that's kind of how I feel because I feel like I was like following, like, I feel like even with the representation thing, like, with like the media now, and like everybody's like yeah. liberal, and like everybody wants to be like, mm -hmm. okay, like an activist, an activist for yeah. like what you know they, they represent believe. and what they believe. So, I feel like that is definitely important, and I feel like that has made me realize, like, okay, like, who am I following that's helping me love myself more and like, like what's natural for me like if i keep following size two yeah or zero and but following like all the perky little baby boobs yeah i'm gonna want <laughs> exactly. i'm gonna want to be that like i'm gonna want to look like that if that's all i'm looking at exactly um, and this is something i realized as well is like um you know now this era is all about the shape of the woman so it's like everybody wants this coke shape, right? Right. And, and that's not even natural for everybody. It's not. It's not natural. And for one, the women who have these shapes, well, they seem to have these shapes on Instagram, are like naturally slimmer women. So they're able to shape their body in a certain way. You know what I'm saying? That yeah. it looks like, I mean, oh, you know. But I feel like you have that shape naturally. Like, I, f I mean, even though you don't believe it, like, mm -mm. even when you're, <laughs> I feel like, when you're when you're smaller yeah you can see your curves more but also like when you're already like thicker and you already have curves like someone that's small is going to be like oh i wish like i had natural curves because then all i gotta do is work on my stomach or right. something like that like even though that's people, not always true right. you know but like i think the matter of the fact is people always want what they don't have yeah so it's like oh i can look at a skinny girl and be like dang like i wish i was shaped like that but in reality she's looking at me like oh i wish i was shaped like that you and know? then that i feel like that is literally like that's like a big percentage of what you said is like that's most of the girls on social media but like mm -hmm. i feel like become um, the music industry and like just social media and like media in general like 
You still have that brush? Yeah, it's right here actually. <laughs> Thank you. Um, just like media in general, like the girls that actually do look like that. I mean, I don't know because sometimes they are that confident in real life. You know? Yeah. Some, because they have they have representation of what they look like already. You know what I'm saying? Right. They already have people that support how they look. They don't have like a very unique look. Like it's just kind of like, oh, okay, well, I'm the standard. Right. In a way. I think at the end of the day, everybody just has to be, like, accepting to, like, what they are, who they are. And, you know, it'll be okay. Like, I know for myself, like, I don't compare too much of what, you know what I'm saying, I have to other people. Right. Like I said, although social media makes it hard for you not to want something else. But I feel like it's okay to, like you know have goals to look like something else as long as you're happy with you know yourself yeah i agree just know that you're bomb yeah in general i think i found somebody that's gonna train me oh, on really? brows oh so you can start like tinting them no i do tinting already i'm oh. gonna start doing um like the tattoos like the brow tattoos and stuff oh people still get real ta brow tattoos Am I like lost in the sauce or something? Yes. I didn't know that. <laughs> what do you mean? I thought that people just oh got like God. the bro tinting now, but like. Okay, let me so. show you. Please. What are you even saying? This is what I've been talking about. Yeah, no. I remember you were getting your tattoo license and I didn't understand why. <laughs> but now I do. That's mind. how it looks. It's, it's not, not like the tattoo? old school. No, it's not like the old school tattoo. It looks yeah. like that. That's oh, like, it's that's like, really nice. yeah. Is that permanent or? Yeah, it's like semi-permanent. It lasts for like a couple years. Yeah. See, okay, this is a thing. So I will want to do that because my eyebrows are like super thin. Look at that. That looks so cute. But see, I think hers is kind of a little too harsh though. So. But that's just how it, it's fresh like that. Once it heals, it'll like get um thinner. Oh, okay. Yeah. And so, like, she doesn't have to put, like, makeup on yeah. and stuff like that. See, oh, wow. This whole time I thought that was just regular brow tinting. I didn't know how it was, like, yeah. No, it's a tattoo. Mike says so serious. Okay, so let's talk about... Oh, this was a good one. 10 things your parents never told you. My mom never told me what age she lost her virginity. I don't know what? if that's, like, important or not, but that crosses my mind <laughs> I know that's random. I'm that so sorry. is random. <laughs> that's so random. I feel like, yeah, like, should you tell your kids that? I know it's some some parents do because I remember when I was in high school, this girl like told me like her mom told her the age. Why? Yeah, I don't know. That's so funny to me. I mean, what? I mean that doesn't matter. I guess like it doesn't matter. I mean, but, but it is like a, if I mean if they held out for a while and they like are saying that because they're proud of it and they're like trying to tell their child like okay like you can do you it. You need or to whatever, do something, yeah. I can see it being like something to like be proud of for sure. Yeah. But I don't know if I would want to know about my mom. <laughs> yeah, I guess I don't really know. I don't know why that causes my mind sometimes. That's I hilarious. Like, I guess it just randomly comes across like, you know. But mm -hmm. I really, I don't think I'm really pressed to know either about my mom. Like, girl, just say I that. wish my mom would have told me or like, what was the topic? Things your mom didn't tell you? Yeah, yeah, yeah okay. Things your parents didn't tell you. I wish okay. that my mom definitely told me like, her experience like oh when I was in high school or was when I was in middle school like this guy did this and like mm -hmm. he tried this or whatever and this is what I did like to show like an example of like how to how to handle stuff right because that would have definitely been like I would have had that girl talk way before, like, when I need it. You know, when you don't think you need it, but you do. Like, when you're just now starting to like boys and, like, boys are giving you attention. Right. But, like, at the same time, my mom didn't really have, like, I had boobs early. So, like, my mom didn't have boobs until she had kids, I think. Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, no, no, no. She had boobs, but they weren't, like, I had, like, Ds already in high school. Right. So, like, 
my mom didn't like she had like maybe a full c full b or something like that so she had boobs but she was like active she was a cheerleader and all this stuff so i mean she was busy yeah so that's one thing my mom like we always had like girl talk like you know what i'm saying she was telling me about stuff that went on like when she was a kid like far as guys and how girls act and stuff like that but like you know never too detailed like detailed yeah i kind of would yeah that's what i kind of would want like i would want details like that i'm disgusted i'll be like okay like you didn't <laughs> even need to tell me that but like i'm so glad that i know that you because, did <laughs> yeah like that's so i really would i would love details i hope that i hope that whenever i have kids i'm mm. like i still feel the same way and i want to gross them out exactly oh my gosh i love how pigmented your eyes are I feel like mine don't look like that. Mine actually looks scary. Well, that's because I put foundation and concealer on before I did it. See, so I it probably just looks like that. Concealer on. I have to start doing that. I feel like my eyes always look a little iffy until I like put the rest facial. on. Yeah. Same. I feel that's why I kind of do my face before yeah. so I don't feel like, oh, oh, where is this going? Okay, yeah. See, that's how I feel right now. Like, I feel like, <laughs> where am I going with, like, but I like it that way because then you can wipe off all the extra stuff before yeah. you put your foundation on. Like, That's true. Me, I'm risking getting fallout on my face. I'm a, I have to literally do my liner. Like, so into it. You know what? I don't think I want to do liner today. Oh, my God. No. Should I do liner today? I don't think today's a liner day. I don't think it is either. I think today is it's, not a liner day. Yay. I, it's something about like non-liner days. Like yeah. you feel like it's just like a fresh, like fresh, I don't know. It's just yeah, like it's fresh a fresh feeling. Clean. Like yeah. I, when I do liner, I feel like. More like I'm warm, heavy. More sexy. Yeah. Um, it's like a heavier look, heavier vibe. Oh my gosh. I did all this not to go outside, but I have to go outside. Huh? I did like uh, I have to, you have to go outside. Yeah. Oh, you you left your lashes? You can, use the, you can use the you can use the ones I just bought. I bought two. Really? Are you sure? I mean, you, just give them back. Okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, I feel so bad. No, well, I don't mind because actually I was. Oh, you don't? No, oh, I actually don't just found them. some. I just found oh. some. Why? They were in the closet in the room. Today. They were on the floor. It was on the floor. I'm like, how? Where the heck did this come from? After all the times that I've been, even when um Dara was over here and she was um she was like, I don't know, I have my glue. I was like, well, yeah. um we can use the glue that I use. Yes. I said Ebony's eyes were burning for like twenty and then minutes. I, my lash wouldn't come off, <laughs> and I took a picture of it to show you. Are you I looked serious? so crazy. I didn't send it. Yeah, your it wouldn't come off. No, Dang. one of them did, but the other one stayed on until like the next day. That's crazy. And then heard it when it finally came off. So I don't know if I told you guys. So like since I do eyelash extensions, I use like a stronger glue than just like the lash strip glue. And she didn't, she forgot her lash glue when I was doing her makeup. Yeah. And I used it to put on her strip lash. So that's. It was intense. We needed to get that lash on. Yeah, we did. It was so intense. That is I think so it's funny. I put on my lashes now though. Should I grab the stuff? Yeah. Okay. They're expensive. They're like typically twenty dollars a lash, but I did like you know. They're both the same. Oh yeah, yeah. Different way. Um. Okay. I don't even have tweezers. Am I like drunk today? <laughs> They're all in my car. You need tweezers to put your glasses on? Oh, oh, I have some. You like? Why are you a <laughs> guardian angel today? <laughs> Thank you. Welcome. Um. I forgot what I was just gonna say. Well, no, I don't know. You're so cute. so. Okay, something else I wish that my mom told me is like how many times that you're gonna date around before you find the one. Listen, I'm single <laughs> and I'm not having that much fun. <laughs> But don't get me wrong, like, when I was newly single, I was having a blast. Like, <laughs> I was going on dates. Because one thing I noticed, well, one thing I learned, that it's okay to date different people. Of course. Like, I don't want to, and I, want, I don't want people to take that the wrong way. 
but not like when you're in something serious right but when you're just like date like getting to know people it's okay to get to know multiple people you and i honestly think that's like so important like i feel like so many girls like you find somebody and they're like oh okay they do everything like that you want the first month or week even week or whatever and then you're like oh well let me like be loyal to that person like no like mm -mm. Like, don't okay. like don't tie yourself down if you're not ready for it and then like especially if you don't even know like you know you're not ready because of um a certain certain amount of things like why you're doing it just because just because you can't find anyone else or right. like just because you're bored right now just because he's taking you out to eat and you're hungry don't do that <laughs> right don't like do don't feel like you have to be like committed to right don't person. feel like obligated to do something that you're not ready to do or that you don't you know you're just like okay whatever like it shouldn't be like that it should be like because i intentionally want this like right and that's what i learned so like when i was newly single i was like i would go out on a date with one guy i get to know him for a couple you know what i'm saying a couple weeks and then like i'll go on a date and it's not like we're doing anything like sexual but it's just like you know getting to know them right right and it's okay to do that because you don't know like you don't want to have all your eggs in one basket when you're just literally date like getting to know people you know right and i feel like i've experienced that like third like in the third party like witnessing girls that i know even family members and friends like they meet one guy and that guy is like they just meet one guy and they're like head over heels See, that's something that's that's never been, like, me. That's never been me Like, either. I'm so reserved. It's like, you have to earn me liking you a lot. You know what I'm saying? Right. Like, you have to earn me, like, you know what I'm Same. saying? Same. Even to think about being in a relationship with you. Same. I feel like all the girls need to know that, like, let somebody earn, earn your love. Let somebody, like, show you that okay, I feel this way about you and, like, you decipher, like, how you want to feel. Like, right. not somebody tell you, like, oh, since I did this before or I did this for you, so now, like, you owe me your, right. you know, your attention and your love and your availability because you don't even, you don't open your availability up either for, like, just because you feel guilted into it. Like, yeah. don't let anybody guilt you into anything. That's true. <laughs> I think that's 100% accurate, honestly. I feel like it, I feel like it just sucks because so many people have to learn it the hard way. Like, it just really sucks. Yeah. Because, like, I know, like, from, like, experience, thankfully, like, this guy was understanding, but he wanted to, like, move forward in, like, a relationship. And me just knowing, like, how things are going, like, I didn't even want to, like, you know, play with it like that. Right. I'm like, listen, we're still getting to know each other. So let's just continue to do that. Right. I'm still like, you know, wanting to like, you know, have your own independence and not be head over heels like you were saying. Right. And it's okay to let guys know that even though they do take your heart. Like, they take, they don't know, they don't understand when you say, let me like, let me take my time. <laughs> yeah. Or let me like think about it or relax. You know what I'm saying? They don't understand. Um, they don't. And it's because, like, guys have, like, they're so prideful that when they do <laughs> like somebody a lot, they just don't know how to control it, you know? <laughs> uh, you don't know how to <sighs> Why does the door have to be shut? I don't understand. <laughs> oh, my God. Here it was go. positive. Why does every lash that glass girl you give me it backfires? I'm so sorry. I'm... What am I saying? Huh? What? What? If you're if you're not a pregnancy test, I'm gonna need to take this nigga picture. Oh my oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my god, I can't. Oh my god. Anyways, guys are really guys crazy. can be very, very prideful, like and very like So they get emotional. Ego driven. Like they're very ego driven, like they, you can't really say something and they'd be like, oh, okay, like, I understand. understand, I understand, or let me look at it from your point of view. It's just like, oh no, I'm a wolf and I need to be a wolf right now. And <laughs> you're not speaking wolf language, so I don't understand it. I don't want to talk about it. So it's just like, just make sure that you know yourself as a woman in any situation, relationship or not, business wise, 
business wise friendship wise just like respect yourself and respect you know what you believe in and you know be open to other people's like constructive you know if they have something constructive to say like obviously respect that but like don't let anybody like push you into an, an idea or a way of like their thinking out yeah. of guilt and it's easy to mark it onto that for sure especially if you care about the person or like you know well even if you like them a little bit you want to make them happy but you know right being self comes first right we're using 220 i think she actually just changed her brand name to really? i think it was 220 know. boutique at first but now it's like the I'm like fighting with this lash right now yeah, i'm so sorry but yeah 220 brand i'll leave the link in the bio my friend has okay. um apparel as well as lashes accessories so check out her website I haven't worn strip lashes in so long and I'm so excited right now. Oh my god, this is so bold. They are very bold. Whoa. Whoa, that looks crazy. Wow. Look how freaking awake my eye looks now. That is nuts. Wait, you have to let your you have to let the glue dry first because mine isn't burning. You're just a super super woman, and I'm not. <laughs> that looks way better. All right, now for the other lash. So I had to trim the end a little bit because my eyes are not that wide as the lashes or whatever the long so just trim it from the end <laughs> we're gonna go get so some funny. lush products and um food some food <laughs> what do you want to eat i don't know they have like a cco cali's over there it's not called cco water it's like Mediterranean, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Like la flatbreads and stuff? Yeah. It's, oh my god. I haven't worn strips in so long. Yeah, you told me that. God. This is me every day. No, but like the boldness of this reminds oh, yeah. me of like when we used to all go to Miami all the time. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Go. All right, so the lashes are on. They're very bold. This is the style Seduce. And now I'm going to just finish the rest of my face. And using some contour. I'm so sorry. I'm like... <laughs> I'm like I thought you were done. I'm trying to no. hurry up. All right, I'll just wait, I'll wait for you to put that lash on. Please. <laughs> Finally, finally we have the lashes on. <laughs> that was a fight that I thought I was gonna lose. Honestly. Let's blink. Let's blink for five seconds. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Let me get some makeup on this face. Okay. So I did my face and everything. So I'm going to just like contour a little bit, add some shape to my face because I feel like I look like all one color right now. Well, you look good. Thank you. So, I'm gonna use my LA Pro Girl, LA Girl Pro, however you say it. She's always a winner. For sure. Like every time. I actually saw someone use Maybelline concealer, and I think I used it like a long time ago. But I think I'm gonna use, try it again, like as a setting for my eyeshadows. Like when I'm gonna do like a bold color eyeshadow. Yeah. Yeah. Um. So I 
really haven't been listening to like a lot of music lately like a lot of mm -hmm. new music really yeah like i don't know what's going on but like i've been like get, not wanting to hear music yeah honestly i'm it's not weird the same music that's, what that's I'm so of. weird like i don't really care for it i don't know if it's because i'm like in the car all the time or like what or i listen to music all day at work because we just literally have like pandora or like something playing all the time right but like now i'm just like enjoying like not listening to it's it music. anymore yeah. yeah like i like old school vibes but like i try to like when i play my shuffle or whatever when i put my phone on shuffle i find like i'm pressing skip so much because mm. i just like hate every song <laughs> honestly like that's how i've been about my like playlist Sometimes I get in these moods where, like, I feel like I'm listening to the same song yes. over and over so that I just don't even want to listen anymore. Exactly. I'm just like, why? Like, everything sounds nothing. exactly the same. It does. It doesn't it's make so any annoying. sense. And I don't agree with it. I don't right. agree with it anymore. Maybe I'm getting woke. Yes. <laughs> we waking up at you. <laughs> Because at first, I mean, I could listen to it and be like, oh, yeah, whatever. But, like, now I'm just like, okay, that was so dumb what he just said. Yeah. Oh, my God. Somebody I cannot listen to, and I probably shouldn't even say this. but They're not sponsoring this video. <laughs> right. They're not. And they, they won't because they probably, they sound like they hate women from their music. Oh, who is it? I think Black I mean, Youngster. He is um, like, I don't like him. I love how that looks. What the Kazoa? Yeah, it Yay. looks like foundation. Yeah, it works really good. I will never stop using that this. Looks really good. That goes to show you that cheap is sometimes better. Okay? Yeah, for sure. Save your money. Yeah. Save your coin. Exactly. Because sometimes you can find just as good as stuff in the hair store or the dollar store. It's okay? so many. It's so many dupes out there. Like you literally don't have to buy. All the expensive stuff and then like even like um sometimes the expensive stuff because like that i think it was like this popular dupe that was going around that it was a dupe of some like expensive thing but it was a elf dupe and mm -hmm. then like elf had like a whole ounce of the same product for less than ten dollars and then the expensive right. one was like 80 something dollars for like half an ounce exactly. or like 0.5 ounces or something like that and that's the thing like me i know i like a clean balance so like i like to buy the expensive makeups because sometimes they are worth it quality sometimes things, yeah but i also like to have my nice balance of like my cheap stuff that's still really great to use right oh yeah i'm using fenty foundation i've been using this fenty foundation like ever since it came out and it does wonders for me. Like, I make, I feel like it makes me look so natural. You know, and it's like, I'm an oily girl. Like, oil should be my middle name. But with this Fenty, it just sits perfectly. <laughs> <laughs> and then, um, so one thing I noticed, and this is the only thing I'm going to say about the whole situation, is that to anybody, not even just guys, it's like, you can't have nobody's perfect right and it's never gonna be the whole package so just like you were telling me like okay with this guy i had to teach him this and the third and now although i'm with this guy now i don't have to teach him that but this is what i have to teach him and right. the, the day it's always gonna be something right and i realized that like once i actually got out of a relationship because i was like you know you don't do this and there, like all this other stuff but the thing is, when I got out of a relationship, I saw how other guys operated and, like, how and people they in other relationships. And, yeah, and it's, like, it's never going to be everything. It's never going to be everything. And that's okay, but it's just, like, of course you're going to have to work through it, but you just have to pick your poison. Like, you have to pick which is Exactly. Not so bad, you know? I completely agree. So, I think I'm done. You are. Yes. Do I look cute? Yes. <laughs> you I need to put some gloss on. Little kisses to the camera. Mm -hmm. Pull some hair up now. I wish I could contour better. I'm not as good at contouring as you are. What? Just do, just do a smaller brush. Mm, that's probably what it is. Yeah. Yeah, she looks so cute. I love this red hair right now. 
Thank you so much. I'm like growing into it so much more and I'm just like Yeah, because I know you were iffy about it at first. Yeah, like I'm growing into it so much more. Like now I'm like thinking like how am I gonna go back black? And you shouldn't. You should be like all twenty nineteen, like that's your thing. I need to get some blonde in my hair. I need yes. to get some type of color. Like some highlights? That would yeah. be really pretty. I said I'm going to, but now I'm gonna get curly hair. And then I think maybe my next hair, I'll be like... Like, so what kind of curly? Like, deep it's, curl? Yeah, like, it's, like, really, like, Spanish mommy curls. Ooh. Yes, for Miami. I want something different. I, I love curls for Miami. So yeah, and I haven't had, like, a look like that in a long time. So. I Are love curls. I'm, like, sobbing. Curls for the girls. Nice. Yeah. This is like my new favorite lip combo. Because I've been looking for a new lip combo. Dark and the Fenty is perfect. It looks so good on you. Because you know, like, I'm always like clear gloss yeah. or like whatever. But this, like, kind of like looks like I tried. No, it looks really good on you. Alright. This is it, you guys. So, this completes our look. You look so good, Brie. Thank you. Come closer. Get some more light. Okay. That's what's that's what's happening. Oh, here we are. Yeah. Okay. Look yes. at that. <laughs> I love it. So that completes this look. Yes. We're all done. We're done. This was fun. A little makeup and girl talk. Yes. Thanks, Thanks for, for having me. Thanks yeah. for coming. <laughs> this is so much fun. Welcome, Ebony, you guys. Hey. Leave comments below. Um, Go check out her book Ooh. on Amazon, oh, at Barnes wow. & Noble, oh, and I'll leave the tag below. <laughs> um, So, yeah. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> And so, like, when you're going into the end, so you can be like, so this is it, beauties, or, you know, whatever you yeah. think it's so like. Oh, yes. Okay. Hmm. I'm happy. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Hi, you guys. I love Brianna so much. This I might love be you. a blooper. You know, the other day I was screaming, and somebody was like, why are you talking so loud? But I didn't know. That's just what I thought in my head, because that was so loud. But they were like, why are you talking so loud? Who said that, that to you? Was? Can they not you. tell you that? <laughs> tell me. No. Please. Your mom said that? Who said that to no. you? I mean, it was a joke, but he said it in front of his dad and everything. And his dad started laughing at me. So maybe I was being so loud. But okay. Who cares? <clears throat> so, you ready? We should be able to be loud. Okay, so we're going to be like... In five, four, <laughs> three, two, one. What's up, beauties? Alright, so maybe right. it shouldn't be like... Okay, so maybe... What's okay. it? Okay, <laughs> she like that. Okay, so that, and then you can do that, and I'll find out you about to say. <laughs> Take 25. <laughs> <laughs> woo, 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 woo. <laughs>